Obviously, you've done something right. You've gotten a job offer, but now you want to reject it. This is Gloria Campbell with Advanced Training Systems in St. Petersburg, Florida. How you do that can determine how the company will view you or that individual in the future. Rejecting a job offer simply means that I do not want to go work for this company under any circumstances. Even if they offered you more money, even if they offered you another position, you really just don't want to work for this company. One of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that when you call and or when you write that it is clear to the company that you are not interested in working for this company. Not now and not in the future. Okay, Rejecting a job offer means that I truly do not want to be involved with this company. You still want to be polite. You still want to say thank you for your time because you genuinely should be honored that someone spent their time. You should be honored that they gave you a job offer. But at this point, this is not where you want to be. This is not the company or the organization you want to work for. So you don't want them to hold out hope that another position or more money would in fact be or make a difference in your decision. Be clear, be to the point, thank them for their time and let them know I'm not coming to work for you, your company, or your organization. This is Gloria Campbell with Advantage Training Systems in St. Petersburg, Florida. Rejecting that job offer is the best thing that you can do for yourself and for the company.